Well, we support the victims of crime in many ways. First of all, it's about changing attitudes. It's about making sure that police, prosecutors and the courts recognise that victims are, as the name says, victims. They're to be treated with dignity, with respect. Uh, they're not to be viewed as a nuisance or somebody that, or individual who's uh, there just to be dealt with in a brusque manner. We've come a long way and I think we recognise that victims and witnesses, because that too can be traumatic, have to be dealt with better. That's why our Victims and Witnesses Bill is going through Parliament as we speak, to make sure that victims are given that dignity, that agencies that have to deal with people who suffer from crime know what's expected from them. Not simply victims, because if you've got to give evidence in court as a witness, it can be traumatic, and therefore it's a victims and witnesses bill. We also support agencies that are specifically there and dedicated to looking after the interests of victims, because victims come in all shapes and sorts. It can be traumatic to suffer what might be viewed in a court tariff as a relatively minor crime, but the consequences can be very severe. Equally, for people who suffer severe crime, whether it's a loss or trauma or uh, severe injury, we've got to be there to support them. So we fund Victim Support Scotland because we know the best people often to support victims are specialist agencies, people who have been through it before. And although they've got full-time dedicated staff, they also have mentors who are simply there to volunteer and give assistance.